Hi, and welcome to 3 Things in 3 Minutes. I'm Nursey. Today we'll be talking about Founders of Gloomhaven from Cephalofair Games. It plays 2-4 to four players, uh, uh, but with a 1-player solo variant, and it's billed as taking 2 hours, but it'll probably take you closer to 3 hours, especially in your first through playthroughs. And this is a, essentially a sort of economic game and tiling action card game. You have a, a hand of action cards in your hand, and each turn you'll play one of those cards, and depending on how you play it, you'll take an action. Other players uh, may be able to take lesser forms of the same action. And mainly what you're trying to do is uh, put down a series of uh, tiles that produce uh, various resources for an economy and then get them connected to other tiles and other aspects of the economy in an effort to be able to supply these resources to other buildings and other economies which will in turn get you money and points throughout the course of the game and you're building up the city by laying down those tiles throughout the course of the game. Things I like about this game, uh, the uh, economic aspects are very interesting. You have to specialize in a few economies. In fact, the game prevents you from uh, specializing in some complementary economies which then forces you to instead have to work with other players and support uh, their resources and their buildings in an effort to actually build up some of the uh, bigger aspects of the economy. And uh, with the tiling of the city, it's a, it has a somewhat uh, collaborative aspect to it. And, you know, when you're building out to the tiles and connecting the buildings and so forth, it's sort of fun to watch how the city and its economy develops throughout the course of the game. And a lot of effort did go into making the different playable races pretty distinct. They all have their own pieces with their own color and their own artwork and worker meeples, and that has a lot of good attention to detail. A few things to consider about the game. The game does have some interesting design quirks. Uh, one of them, uh, for example, is that a lot of the information that you need throughout the course of the game is covered. On your player map, some of the costs of the buildings that you need or where you are in your economy, those numbers are actually covered up. And then on the board, as you lay down tiles, sometimes you have to reference what kind of terrain you put them on. So then you have to lift up the tile and say, what kind of terrain did I put this on? And it just makes that aspect of the game a little bit harder than it needs to be. The rulebook is also a little bit hard to follow. Uh, some of the concepts in the game are referenced before they're actually explained in the rulebook, so it's the kind of rulebook that you're going to have to go through at least twice to really get the sense of what's going on. And uh, you, you'll be connecting the uh, various industry buildings throughout the course of the game, and then you have to trace them to see, all right, is this resource connected to this building? And that tracing can be really cumbersome, especially as the map gets really big and the connections get really complicated, and so it just makes that a little bit hard to figure out. And also for fans of Gloomhaven, this is a game about Gloomhaven and theme only does not really have any mechanics that are similar to Gloomhaven, so be aware of that if that's what was interesting you about this game. So in summary, an interesting collaborative, cooperative economic game that pushes players to integrate economies. Uh, the town building is fun, but routing can be really hard to tell, and the rules are not terribly well explained, and some of the design quirks make it harder than it needs to be. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment and subscribe.